Today I got a mechanical hybrid mech mod to show off the Saint from Times Vape. So before I open it up, Times Vape's the same company that uh, has the Mask RDA, the Mask 30, that I like so much. They also have a 24 millimeter. This is like one of my favorite building RDAs. They also have the Apex, which was another building RDA actually. Um, let me pop this open. Wasn't a huge fan of this deck or how this thing vaped, but oh, that cap is tight. Woo! You can tell that hasn't seen much dripping lately. All right. And the Reverie, which is a product by Times Vape and Stan Tenacious. This was a single coil vertical. You know the deal. I'm not popping that one off too. It ain't worth it. All right, and also, of course, maybe I should have had this ready before I popped the video on. This has an 18650 in it, but this is the Dreamer and the Ardent, which is also by Stan and Times Vape. So the same company that makes all this stuff. Very good machining on all this stuff, actually. Is the same company that makes this mech mod that I'm showing you right now. All right, so the Saint. Um, I got this in NVE this year. They passed it off to me for promoting reasons. And this is how it came. Now, I did polish this up since I u I've been using this thing for like three weeks. I did polish it up, but I am going to insert a video here on how it looks after it's patinaed. All right, so here's the Saint mod after a couple weeks of use with a little bit of a patina on there. Figured I'd show you that. All right, so I did polish it up once again. So let's check it out. This is exactly how it came. I just put it exactly back how it came. All right, so it comes with the, I love this thing. Even when they handed it to me and I opened it up, I started playing with it. He probably thought I was an idiot, but I was like, eh, look at this. It didn't really work because it's too big, but I really like that thing. I think it's a nice touch. And then it comes in this. Now I got a brass version. They do have other versions. This mech mod goes for about 90 bucks. And it says Saint across S-A-I-N-T. Saint. Alright. It's very nice engraving here. Once again, it's brass. Alright. It'll say the serial number. 1160. Um by LZ and Times Vape. So I guess LZ Vape is either a reviewer or some kind of social media personality. I don't know. Actually, I like I'm not trying to throw no shade at anybody. I just don't know them. So um but I do know that I do love this mech mod, so that's one thing I do know. All right, this is the button. It's a star. It is indented just because it doesn't have a battery in it. It's not all the way down. But it is indented, so it can sit there. But this is an issue that it has. Like, it'll rock back and forth if you don't tighten this down all the way so that it's flat. But when it is flat, it's good. All right. So, it is a hybrid device. So, with a hybrid device, you definitely want to make sure, absolutely positively want to make sure, that you got a protruding 510 pin. So, you want this guy right here positive pin you definitely want that sticking up above them threads you need that right there I think I have an example of a non protruding 510 give me one second I think I definitely have one right here mm. of course not okay maybe over here okay this is a good example see that 
that's a big no-no. That's going to cause a hard short if you put that on there. All right, you want that 510 protruding. All right, you do not want this to where it's level or inside. You don't want that. Now, this is an old RDA. RDAs don't come like this anymore. You see, it's just because this RDA is broken. Long story. Anyway, um, you don't want to put a tank on a hybrid either. Do not put any kind of sub-ohm tank on here, nothing like that. You don't want to do that to a hybrid. It's a big, big no-no. All right, so let me show you something here. Now, this mech mod, hybrid mech mod, the only thing you take off is this, and it's also the only adjustment that it has. In addition, this mech mod takes three different types of batteries. So now everybody's using them 30Ts, the 2700s. All right, so this mech mod, let me zoom back out a bit. All right, so this, this, this mech mod, this mech mod will take any of these three batteries. All right, so we got a traditional 18650, which are still my favorite. I love 18650. I don't care what anybody says, they hit harder than any other battery. All right, and then 21700s. It'll take these, and it will take 2700s, all right? So 2700s, you would just throw it in there, positive up, twist your bottom piece on, and, you know, fire away. You probably want to put your, actually, your RDA on top before you screw the button down, rather, just so you screw it all together the proper way, all right? But I don't want to screw that all the way down just yet. I want to show you the 21700. Fits in there. I'm going to screw this one down since this is the bigger battery. All right, just to show you. All right, so the star is pretty good for the twist, and the threads are so smooth. So smooth. I actually quite like this button a lot for a lot of reasons. I'm actually going to take this button apart to show you a couple things because it's extremely interesting to me, this button. All right, you see how it's sitting down in there? That's what you want it to do. You see how the star is actually indented in there? Now, this button is very easy to push, all right? And when you push it, stuff happens, but this battery is not charged. It's charged a little bit, but... All right, so when you push it, fire happens. Now, just like a lot of these mech mods, just like the Dreamer that I just opened up and showed you that there was a sleeve inside for an 18650, that is going to be the same deal with this mech mod. Now, something pretty cool. Now, with the Dreamer, something like this kind of happens too, where the sleeve could get caught in the top, which I quite like. It happens with this too. Check this out. The metal bit of this thing fits in this circle here. So that circle fits exactly inside that. And I thought that was so fucking cool. Every time I pull it out, the sleeve comes out with it. I don't know. It doesn't take much to, it doesn't take much for me. All right. So you put your sleeve in, you twist this down. Alright, and this is how you adjust the button, is just by twisting it in all the way. You just twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, there you go. And you can see this thing, it fires very nicely. I am enjoying this mech mod quite a bit. I'll show you more when we go top side. All right, so let me pop this off. BTFC. Um, while we're down here, actually, before I take the button apart, I'm just going to show you how a couple things look on this. This will be a layer cake, 24 millimeter. So this is 25 millimeter around. There's going to be a little edge right there with a 24, but it still looks really good. I mean, that looks good as hell. All right. Now let's take a gold warrior and throw that on here. The warrior is a 25 millimeter. And 
that's the ticket right there. Look at that. Now, gold stuff and brass stuff doesn't match completely, but it matches pretty damn good. I kind of like the black gold kind of deal that we had. All right. So 25 is going to be the money right here. I actually also was liking this with the M Turk. With the M Turk, I really like it because the M Turk 25 cap. So this is what a stainless 25 millimeter looks like on there. I was really liking this, and I could get that to twist down more just by. You see how there's a little gap there? See, so you could see my hand through there. This is what you do. Untwist the RDA a bit. Untwist the star a bit. Then twist in the RDA. You can't see my hand through anymore. The seam's tight. And then tighten the button. All right. Oh, shit. Those are good coils. I probably just colored up real quick. Mother effer. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to take this button apart real quick to show you um, the button because it's actually, <laughs> I'm guessing it's very innovative. There's a lot of stuff going on with the button that I've never seen before and it's extremely interesting to me. The spring is pretty cool. This is a springing button. It's not a magnet, it's a spring. But um, I just love how this thing looks, man. It looks a little less polished in the letters, right? Oh, it does have, um, you know, um, venting holes. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show you something when we go top side with them venting holes. Something that I would probably change on this if it was mine. I will show you that they're just kind of drilled down, which is gonna make it shoot up. And I don't completely agree with that, but hey. All right, let me take this button apart and show you real quick. All right. One more thing, this contact is either silver or silver plated. I have no plating coming off of this thing. All right, it is, when I cleaned it, all I did was wipe it off like this with my thumb. I didn't do no cleaning on this button whatsoever and I've been using it for weeks. Now check this out. How you take this button off is you get something like this, something thin, some kind of needle noses and you stick them in them holes and twist, right? Check this out. Watch what happens when I stick this into there. There's like something in there that goes down and pops back up. I don't know why that, I don't know if it's so juice doesn't get in there. So there's like a little rubber gasket that just pops back up. But how? Like I never seen that before. It's pretty fucking cool. I It tripped me out when I was doing it. I was like, wait, is this hole that deep or... And I, it's just an illusion I can't see, but how crazy is that? And we're going to take it apart. I'm going to show you. It doesn't, like, open or anything. This does not adjust. I did try to adjust this thing. It doesn't. There's no adjusting needed for this mech mod. So if you wanted to clean this out or check out the spring, be very careful. Hold the button. Twist the contact off. And I'm going to show you what this spring is. It's a pretty cool spring. And I want to show you one more thing that I thought was a little weird. So I'm going to pop this off. I'll show you the spring in a second. Look down inside here. You see that? You see that like fin stuff there? I never seen that before. And it also does move. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is and the other thing, but whatever I mean cool <laughs> excuse me it looks cool as hell I don't know what purpose it serves but um I just thought that was interesting like what is that it like literally has nothing to do with anything I don't think I don't know unless they're just so much smarter than me that <laughs> they know something that I don't I never seen that it's like a, a spring that goes all the way around. Very interesting. Very interesting. Between that and these, I just was like blown away. And then this spring though. Look at this spring. It's like a flat spring. 
and it's got like a good tolerance. I just thought this spring was really cool too. So the button has these three prongs with the threading, the three prongs go into them three prongs so that when you twist it off and on, it grabs onto something, you know? So yeah, that's all I really want to show you with the button. I'm gonna reassemble this so you know how to do it if you ever wanted to clean this out. All right, so you just put the spring on there. You line up the holes with the little notches. We're just going to get the silver. I think this is just silver. Like, look at This is looking like a solid piece. But there's obviously something in there. Crazy. Crazy machining. I think it's cool. Alright. Oh, looks like I didn't line up the holes properly. Yep. Let's line up them holes, push the button up as I twist so that doesn't happen again. Put this guy in, and I want to twist this all the way down. Alright, now, there you go. Very easy button to push. Which Times Vape's just known for their nice buttons, right? Right. Cool. Very nice threading. I mean, just goes right in and spins. Alright, I'm going to take it up top and just talk a little bit about this and we'll get out of here. Alright, we are up top with the Saint Mod from Times Vape. It's like a .09 build in there. It's pretty low, but man, this thing fires really nice. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. It's really good. It's comparable with all my nice mech mods, my higher end mech mods. It just hits just as good uh, as the broadside, as the Ronin X2, as the Dreamer. They, it hits just as good so for 90 bucks I think it's an awesome deal it looks great and there's just uh, obviously some kind of innovation I, once again I'm not trying to throw any kind of shade at anybody I don't know who LZ Vape is and I'd venture to guess that they don't know who I am but they did a good job on this Th them and Times Vape awesome mech mod Times Vape is a company they're not like a huge company but ever since they started working with Stan obviously they became known a little bit more but they have like like I don't I've never seen anybody else with this mech mod and they have like products like that that are just like kind of hidden they're like just kind of hidden gems in the in the Times Vape community like between this mod and the mask the mask RDA which is probably my favorite building RDA they just have like really just hidden gems of stuff. These guys should really check them out if you have never. Um, but yeah, I mean, they gave it to me at NVE for promotional reasons. That's when I picked up the Ardent for the Dreamer. And um, I really appreciate them. They are actually a sponsor of mine for about a year now. You know, they send me stuff to build in, to take pictures of. Just really good people. I got to meet them twice. I got to meet them also in California. And just really nice people. I do really appreciate them. Um, I'd like to get my hands on a um, 24 millimeter mask because this is a 30. I would love to try out a 24 millimeter mask. Hint, hint. <laughs> no, nah, I do want to pick one up though. Um, I wonder if they, they're still around because the masks are actually an old RDA, but it's definitely something to look into. Um, so yeah, the Saint Mac mod, man, I can't really, um, I can't really not recommend it enough. I mean, wait, I can't really, I think you should get it. I don't even know how to say it. Just look at how nice it is. The button, pinky. I mean, it just hits hard. It takes all three batteries. It's just really nice. I, I've been really enjoying it, and I had to do this video because I just wanted to get it out of the way so I could just use it. I just want to use it. But I'm out of here, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I gotta get that art and video up, I know, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Everybody have a good day. Uh, Times Vape, thanks again. Awesome product, love it, just like all your products. Um, continue killing it, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Nick. Damn, I hope they don't rip this video down or give me a copyright strike because I just fucking nailed it. Jay-Z Black album. More like Nick D. White album. Wow, I just got racist real quick. All right, enough of that. What's up, my niggas? Um, forgot to show you this. The air holes or the vent holes in this. I told you I would show you something when we were down low. So I'm just going to take this RDA off and this button here. Now this is just something I'd like to show more so um, more so times vape. Something I would change with mech mods like this that have vent holes. Now vent holes are always a plus no matter what. So the vent holes this is the top of the RDA. So I'm just going to blow vapor through this so you can see how the venting would shoot out. So it shot up. All right, it shot up because the holes are drilled down. Um, I would rather them be drilled straight through or down this way so it shot at my hand. Just a little something, something I would change about it. Um, now, there's a lot of mech mods that don't have vent holes, for instance, all right? There's a lot of them that don't even have vent holes. I've never had a battery vent. I've never known anybody that had a battery that vented. Um, so vent holes are kind of just a plus, but if you're going to have them, you might as well have them venting the other way. This is not a make or break thing for me. I mean, I would buy it without vent holes. That's just me. But it's just something I noticed. I think other people would notice and it's just something that I would keep an eye out for. Other than that, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Once again, thank you very much, Times Vape. You're awesome. Peace.